When the writing was on the wall, after the Interstate Highway Bill was uh, signed and enacted, it took a long time, but the, immediately from 1956 on to the mid-80s, it began the death knoll for Route 66. Slowly but surely, the creation of these five interstate highways that parallel Route 66 today. 55, 44, 40, 15, and 10. When it was decommissioned, I think in a way the favor that the federal government had done is by doing something so brash as saying, we declare this road to not exist. That brought people out of a shell to say, wow, maybe we need to look at this. In 1985, when the Mother Road was decommissioned, people were immediately hungry to escape the homogenous chains and endless strip malls that had taken over America. Despite its black and white shields being dismantled, they took to the road looking for America's vanishing main streets. Suzanne and I knew that the road was still there, 85% of it. This is actually uh, is a love letter to the road and the people because I got tired, we both did, of people talking about 66 in the past tense. Michael and I made the, the trip along at 66 and uh, before Christmas. I took a lot of the pictures, and so we would go a few feet, and then Michael would say, here, let's get a picture. So I would climb out with all my bags and everything and take pictures, and then we'd get back in the car, and he'd go a little further. <laughs> Resiliency. You know, and that's what it takes. For years, I was sort of like a voice crying in the wilderness going into the capitals of each of the eight states, Springfield, Illinois, Jeff City, Missouri, Oklahoma City all the way out to Sacramento, and trying to convince uh, the, the people in state government, in city governments, in chambers, look, the revitalization of this road, 85% of which you can still travel, means it puts vehicular traffic in your state, your county, your city. Well, certainly a road trip on Route 66 is a lot better than a a major interstate highway. Absolutely. Well, you know, when you're on a super slab like that, you might as well be on an airport <laughs> yes, runway. Exactly. It's the cookie cutter culture. 